Cause she cute. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Miranda. If this is your first time here, I go by Miranda Marie here on YouTube and Instagram and Snapchat. So don't forget to follow me on all social media outlets. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have did this gorgeous eye makeup tutorial for you guys using the new Amory Z palette from Anastasia and Beverly Hills. And, um, I think the look turned out really, really cute. Um, this is going to be a, only an eye tutorial for you guys. Just to kind of move past my whole, like, foundation routine that I've done and eyebrows and all that that you've seen me do. Um, if you'd like a separate video on that, then definitely let me know. But, um, we're going to be strictly focusing on eyes in this video. So, before we go any further... Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, 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 please, and thank you. It's very, very, very much so appreciated. But um, without any more interruptions, let's go ahead and get in to this look. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit to my eye area and go ahead and start with some P. Louise eyeshadow base and this is in the shade rumor number five I just like to use the back of my hand squeeze out some ignore my liner and eyebrow stuff that I put on the back of my hand I use the back of my hand for everything so I'm just gonna take a I call it a concealer brush it's like a little flat small buffer kabuki brush from Morphe and just go in with this all over the eyelid So what's been up with you guys? I haven't did a makeup tutorial in a while, I feel like. So I've been working so much. Like, I'm getting ready for work now. So that's why I can't have a cocktail with these cosmetics that's going on. I'm going to go get me some coffee in a little bit. I decided I can combine this tutorial with getting ready for work since I have to wear makeup to work. So, I'm going to start with this tapered blending brush from Morphe. It's the M513. I didn't do my eyebrows on camera because they are pretty much the same routine as my last eyebrow tutorial. Nothing has really changed. Still use, like, a brow pomade and brow powder and brow gel. Clean them up with a little concealer. And that's it. I don't really want to cut the crease, I don't think. I mean, it would be nice, but my eyes are kind of slightly hooded, so it's a little harder to cut my crease. So I don't even know if that's the look that I'm going to go for today. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I know I did bring a teal eyeliner out with me. I might, you never know. So lately, i just been working, working, working after Christmas. Like, during December, I've been working both jobs. I work two jobs, so it's been a little harder to squeeze YouTube in there. But um, I'm trying to figure it out. Like, now I'm getting ready for work, so I'm kind of trying to use my time wisely as wisely as possible and get ready for work and do this makeup tutorial so that can kind of kill two birds with one stone so i can make sure that i have more time for youtube because it's definitely something that i've been wanting to focus on a lot more but working two jobs is so so hard sometimes because it's really really draining okay so we have that all over the crease just gonna buff it out a little bit up here Hmm. <laughs> so Barb, I know, is a pressed glitter here. I feel like I kind of want some Reezy. It looks white on camera, but it's really like a pale pink. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Okay, so I'm just going to take a flat brush. And I normally kind of do my out. Let's do the outer crease first. That's what I normally do. I'm just going to stick to that. I'm going to take a fluffy brush from Morphe. Little fluffy blending brush. This is a J, JS6 from the Jeffree Star. And I'm going to take the color Hugo right here, this brown, and put that in the outer crease. I normally do go from outer to inner. <coughs> oh, my allergies. So I'm just going to focus that right in the outer crease only. This brush is pretty defined, so it's easy to just get in that area. But yeah, lately that's all I've been doing is working. I haven't done nothing extra, nothing fancy. I plan on it. I plan on definitely going on some trips really, really soon. I want to plan a cruise for my birthday which is nowhere near now but I'm gonna plan it early and um I wanna take a trip to Atlanta really soon in the next few months so if y'all know what's popping in Atlanta holler at your girl and let me know towards like before the summer I got glue Still on my eyelash from yesterday's makeup. Like, it's so hard. I wash my face. Don't get me wrong. Okay, so, my bad. My camera was not recording. It was tripping. Um, I went in with this first color right here, which is Wasted. I did get a little... Oh, I just dug my nail into the other color. I did get a little fallout, like, it with the Wasted color, that pastel pink. Um, it fell out a little bit, and I tapped it on the top of the palette and most of the color came off the palette so oops I don't know what that was about but now I'm going to but it went on really good and creamy and smooth on the eyes so that's really all that matters a little fallout won't hurt nobody I'm not one to complain very much I'm gonna take the color cupcake which is this really pretty pink color right here I'm not sure if it's a pressed glitter I didn't even look at my little pamphlet but I am going to, it looks like it is based on the way it, when you go in with the brush. I'm going to kind of just overlap, waste it. And like, and I was kind of cutting the crease with the shadow, not necessarily um, with uh, eyeshadow base. It's really creamy though, guys. Like, I didn't even wet my brush or anything. It goes on really nice. Really, really nice. I still want to take some Simsa, which is the color that we put in the crease. I'm going to take a little of that and put it right on top of Cupcake and Yugo. Blend those two together. I might get some Fix Plus and try to wet um, Cupcake again. My stomach is growling so hard. Just going to tap a little bit of that off the brush. I literally have learned to use less brushes working in makeup because that's less I have to clean. Like, I'm so over cleaning brushes. Y'all do not understand. Like, I'm over it. So, the least brushes that I can use, the better. Crazy. I'm going to go back in with um, Yugo. Go back in with Yugo and blend out those edges of the outer corner. So far, guys, we are only three brushes in, besides the um, brush that we put on with our P. Louise eyeshadow base with three brushes in. I'm going to take that blending brush again that I started with that look, and kind of see if I can define this crease a little more since it kind of looks like a cut crease. See if I can just add some more of that color Simsa in there, give it more of a little definition because I have to go always above my crease since my eyes are hooded 
blending like crazy. I don't think I want to do any eyeliner. I don't know. I'm not much of an eyeliner kind of girl. At the top. I'm just not. But I am going to add a pop of color at the bottom. I don't care that I got three colors going on. I'm going to take this um, technical liner from MAC. It's called Take the Plunge. It's just a little uh, retractable liner. And I'm going to line the bottom of my waterline with this. I know you have to look so ugly when you're lining your waterline. It's so serious. That's because they're pretty together. I feel like I still want to pop something in my inner tear ducts, but I gotta wait till I get my foundation on and stuff. I already moisturized my face with some strobe cream and uh, from MAC in the shade Peach Light. So hopefully I'm glowing on camera. And then I prepped my skin with some skin based primer from MAC as well. I've been diving a little bit more into our products since working there. Um, I have my staples, like my go to products that I've always used. Okay, now I'm going to take the shade Leo, which I'm guessing is her sign, and put that right on top of the Take the Plunge color. Ugh. Hope I don't get too dirty. I gotta go to work. Um, but as I said, I've been diving more into. I'm just gonna pack that on there. More into our products since working there. I have my staples that I go to all the time that I use that I've never stopped using. And then I've kind of start playing with a lot more products. Again. Okay, I'm gonna apply my lashes really quick. And I just have them already in here because I've used them before. Um, these are some lashes from MAC as well. These are some the 75s lashes. So I'm just going to apply those real, real quick. Okay, my eyelashes are on. And like I said, I didn't do any eyeliner. I am going to do the rest of my face off camera since I have to go to work. So I'm just going to kind of rush through that. I would do an updated like foundation everyday kind of routine next video for you guys if you're interested. So make sure you let me know. But I will be right back in a flash to let you guys know what I thought about the palette. Okay, I am back. And this is my finished look, guys. I did the rest of my face off camera, and I just added a little inner tear duct color. Like I said, I wanted to, and I used the color Dragon, which is this gold color in between Cupcake and Leo. So, um, my first impressions of the palette, I like it. I think it's um, really, really nice. Um, these pink colors really complement um, like my skin color. And I think really anybody's skin color, you can do a lot with this palette between these nice browns as far as like transition colors. And I know people were saying like these look like the same colors, but definitely in person, they're different. This one's a lot lighter. OG is a lot lighter than New Yorker. Yorker. <laughs> but um yeah with the browns the golds like you can do so much with it i really love this color leo it um really pops like it really really stands out it'll look really really nice all over the lid with like new yorker in the crease and stuff and like even like a little pink inner tear duct it's a lot you can do i really like the palette um I really need to take more time and give my palettes a lot more love because I'll buy them and be all excited about them in the beginning and then just forget that I got them. So, um, I need to just keep this right on my little, uh, palette station in my bathroom so I can use it a lot more. It really matches my backdrop, my whole little eyeshadow look. But, um, I just kind of wet my hair, whatever, did my little, this is the same curly hair wig unit that I had in my last video where I showed you guys how I went from curly to straight. So I went back to curly because the rain was just ridiculous and the humidity, it was crazy. Um, but if you'd like to know what other products I use on my face, I will list them in the description box for you as far as like my foundation concealer lipstick all that stuff blush everything that i used but um 
I think it turned out really, really cute. It made my eyelid space look a lot bigger than it is. And I appreciate that because as you can see where that crease is, that's where my actual lid space is. So I have to always go above it. But um, I like it. It looks really cute. Um, if you like this look, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe to my channel, please. And thank you, 2020. We are trying to do a lot more. And uh, let's support. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's free. Comment if you have any questions. And be sure to make sure you follow me on all my social media. Snapchat, Instagram. I will list them below as well. And thank you so much for being here with me. I'm about to go get me some coffee and go to work. And y'all have a blessed day. Thank you for watching.